This is the Mazda Type GB. It's the oldest car in the museum. It's extremely rare. I think it's the only one in Europe. It's a direct descendant of the Type DA, which was Mazda's first ever motorized vehicle. And ultimately, Mazda went on to make more than 30 different types of three-wheelers. You're a fan of the small car, aren't you, Sachin? And looking at this, surely you'd agree, small is beautiful. This is Mazda's R360 Coupe. It's their first ever passenger car. It's under three meters long and has a 356cc engine. Alfred, you've driven one of these, haven't you? Yes, the Mazda RX-2. And they're really incredible. They're like nothing else you've ever driven. The styling has a certain Italian flair to it. Absolutely. By the 1970s, people were really being mobilized in some style. And under the hood is a rotary engine which manages to produce 120 horsepower out of just 1.2 liters. The Mazda 626. It's just your kind of car. It is. I'm a big fan of 80s saloons. You also told me your dad had one of them. He taught me how to drive in one of these. It came with a range of engines that were specifically designed to offer performance and economy. But I think the most important thing about the 626 was it was really a saloon car designed for driving enthusiasts. And here we've got two 323 GTs, but they're quite different from each other. This one is a 323 F GT. And as you can see, in the 80s and 90s, pop-up headlights were all the rage. And this is a real beast, the 323 GTR, which had 185 horsepower. Look at these massive air intakes and these huge fog lights. And it really was a rally car for the road, this, wasn't it? Yes, only 500 of these were built. It was a homologation series. It had permanent all-wheel drive and really was the most powerful Mazda 323 ever built. And well, if I'd had this when this came out, I would have been a very happy camper. Now this, this is a rare one. This is a MX-5 Coupe. They made around 200 of them, so they are extremely collectible. In fact, I think you could trace the lineage of the new MX-5 RF straight back to this car. Yeah, it really shows the strength of the MX-5 design and that it works as well as a coupe as it does as a convertible. And I've got to say that I think of all the great cars in here, this is my favourite one.